Hi, hello. Let me give you some background information while we're in the love vein and the Waterloo Room. William II of the Netherlands, born on December 6, 1792, as the eldest son of King William I, made significant contributions to Dutch history. He was married to Anna Paulona of Russia, with whom he had four sons and one daughter. At a young age, William and his family sought refuge in England when French troops defeated the United Provinces Army, aligning with the anti-Orangist Patriots. He spent his formative years in Berlin, at the Prussian court, 
receiving military education and serving in the Prussian army. Following this, he pursued civil law studies at Christ Church, University of Oxford. William II joined the British Army and, at the age of 19, served as an aide-de-camp to Arthur Wellesley, the Duke of Wellington. During several campaigns of the Peninsular War, his courage and amiability endeared him to the British, who affectionately dubbed him Slender Billy. In 1814, he was promoted to lieutenant general and a year later to general. William II's military prowess shown during the battles of Quatre Bras and Waterloo in 1815. Leading the Dutch troops as part of the Anglo-Allied forces under the command of the Duke of Wellington, he commanded the Dutch 2nd Division at Quatre Bras, effectively securing the Allied positions against the French. During the Battle of Waterloo, he sustained a musket ball wound to his left shoulder. Grateful for his role in the victory, the king and the Dutch people offered William Seuss Dyke Palace after the war. The Dutch public embraced William II as a national hero following the victory at Waterloo, idealizing his valor and military achievements. His involvement in the Belgian Revolution of 1830 further solidified his reputation. Leading Dutch troops against Belgian insurgents, William II demonstrated his commitment to the Dutch cause and the preservation of the kingdom, despite Belgium ultimately gaining independence and being recognized by the Netherlands as a state in 1839. In 1840, William II ascended to the throne as the King of the Netherlands after his father's abdication. Throughout his reign, he supported liberal reforms and advocated for constitutional monarchy. Recognizing the changing political landscape and pressure from factions demanding constitutional changes, William II had reluctantly engaged in discussions regarding reforms. The revolutions of 1848 had broken out all over Europe. Warned that the revolution might spread to the Netherlands next, William decided to institute a more liberal regime, believing it was better to grant reforms instead of having them imposed on him on less favorable terms later. As he later put it, I changed from conservative to liberal in one night. He reluctantly signed the Constitutional Reform of 1848, enabling a parliamentary democracy in the Netherlands. William II's reign was cut short when he died unexpectedly on March 17, 1849, at the age of 56. His legacy encompasses courage, military prowess, and his role in the transition to a constitutional monarchy.